All right, so I wanna talk a little bit about getting rid of duplicates. And to set this up here, I've got an example of some video files here on the right. I've got four different backups that might represent four different times where I took some sort of full backup of maybe a recordings directory. And so inside of these, if I expand them out, you'll see there are a lot of duplicates between each of the backups. And of course, if I select all of these and expand these out, you can see there are video files inside. And so what I'd like to do, I'd like to take a look at how I can use a tool to go through and find duplicate files and then how you can get rid of all but a single copy and how you can approach that using a command line tool called fdupes. And so the first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm sitting inside of the same directory that I have over on the right there. I've got my four backup directories. And so I'm gonna run the fdupes program. And as a very first step here, I'm gonna run the recurse argument to be able to look in the child directories as well. I'll be looking in the current directory then. So now when I run this here, I'll get an overview of my duplicates. And the first thing I might wanna do is just see in how many cases does backup four, my guess is backup four should have everything inside of it, but it's possible one, two, and three have something that's not in four. So my guess is I'd like backup four to be the golden copy that I target, the one that I wanna keep, and then I wanna get rid of duplicates in the others. So let's just come over here in the output. Just quickly, I can search here for backup and four, and I can see where does it actually appear in the results here? And does it seem to appear in almost all of or most of the results? And that looks to be the case. So targeting backup four will probably give me what I want to be able to get rid of most of my duplicates while keeping one good copy. So this is the report mode here. And if you would like, I think it can help actually to sort by name. That way in the output, if you have several backup directories, you'll see one, two, three, and four. Those are ordered the same. Then this section only has three and four here. So three comes first and then four. I think that's helpful. And then when you're ready to find and get rid of those duplicates, just add the delete argument. Once it's done though, you get this nice interactive overview of where the duplicates are at and each duplicated file has its own set. So you can see there are 16 different duplicates here. Of course, I could go through here and mark each file to keep or delete, but I think a better way to do this is to use a little interactive feature it has here that allows me to run a select command. So SEL down in the bottom here, and then I can specify what I wanna select. So let's say I wanna select backup four. So any file that has backup four in its path, when I run that now, you can see it highlights the various matches. I can page through the results here. I can see that backup four is selected everywhere. And now, because I wanna keep backup four, I can run another command here to invert the selection. That command is ISEL. Now, when I run this, it'll flip things around here and it'll select all of the files that are not backup four, but that are duplicates. So basically right now, I've got my hands on all the duplicated files that are not sitting in the backup four directory, which means I can now run another command there's a DS command here that will mark these for deletion. All right, and if you can see on each file, it's got a minus sign now, that means to get rid of or delete. And now before I run this over on the right here, I'm gonna expand out all the directories. You see all the different video files. All right, so now back over on the left here, when I'm ready, once I've selected the files to delete, I can then just hit the delete key or type in the prune command and watch this over on the right here. Look at that. All the files are gone now inside of backups one, two, and three. And so that means, which means I've got all the files that I need inside of backup four. I can just get rid of these directories. You can even see on disk here, these are taking up no space at all. And go ahead and blow those away. Then there's no files inside of there. I've now got my single copy with everything that is unique inside of it. And now, now that I deleted those, you can see I've got one more set of duplicates here. This is an annoying file I don't care about. It's a metadata file. It's a hidden file actually. If you want, you actually could quit out of this here with Q, Y for yes. And if you add a no hidden argument here, now you can see I don't have any matches. So I'm done at this point in time. There's no more duplicates left. And then if you want some help here, I only showed you a few of the commands that are possible. Type in help when you're in this delete interactive mode here at the bottom. Run that and you'll get a nice set of man pages basically, or just help documentation. You can page down through here and read everything you want in here. What I wanna do though is point out a few sections here. First up is the file selection commands. So the SEL command for selecting, this is the definition of that. There's also SELB for selecting something that starts with, SELE for ends with, or if you want an exact match, you can use M. And then there's also SELR if you wanna use a regex, which allows you a lot of flexibility in what you're going to select. And then of course, if I jump down here, there's DCEL, which is deselect, as well as DCELB, DCELE, or as we saw, 
There's also an I cell command, which allows you to invert your selection. And then you also have C cell to clear it all together. And then once you've made your selection, targeting the files you want to get rid of, so you can use DS to mark things for deletion. You can also mark things to keep, though you don't have to do that. KS for that. And of course, you can get rid of the tagging then. So definitely check out the documentation here. And here is the website for this project. Should be readily available for Mac and Linux environments. On Windows, you might want to take a look at using the J dupes command. It's supposed to be a fork of this with additional features. Or you could pull down this repo and try and compile it, though I have not tried to do that yet, so I'm not certain if that's possible. And actually on Windows, a last resort would be to use WSL to be able to run inside of an Ubuntu environment because there's an fdupes package in Ubuntu. And if you do me a favor in the comments down below, if you have a program that you like for deduplicating files, let me know what it is, why you like it, what it does really well, because I'd like to cover some more videos about this. This is a subject that is a pain point for just about everybody. Even I have too many duplicates of files or people in my family do, and I like to clean those up so we're not wasting space and buying cloud storage we don't need. Let me know in the comments down below what you like. I'd like to hear from you.